it's ASMR for devs. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to explore TypeScript. TypeScript is a programming language created by Microsoft back in 2012. It was made to improve how we work with JavaScript, even though in the end it becomes JavaScript code. You might ask yourself, why learn something new? Well, JavaScript is powerful, but it has a few strange behaviours. For example, let's say you have a function that adds two numbers. In JavaScript, you could pass a word like 10 instead of the number 10, and the code would still run, even though it's wrong. That's where TypeScript helps. It forces you to use the correct type. If it's a number, it must be a number, not a string, not a word, just a number. That small difference makes your code more solid, more scalable, and more secure. Imagine you're using Facebook. You see your name at the top. But in JavaScript, you could accidentally turn that name into a number. Strange, right? With TypeScript that doesn't happen, it keeps things the way they should be. Let's imagine another case. You're using your online banking app, trying to send some money. Now, with JavaScript, you might try to send the word 10 as your amount, the system would accept it, even though it's not a real number. But with TypeScript, that mistake is blocked. It will only accept real numbers, not text. Pretty nice, right? Let's look at another example. JavaScript lets you compare different types, sometimes in ways that don't make much sense. If you compare the number zero with an empty string using two equal signs, JavaScript says they are the same. Zero is also equal to an empty array and even equal to false. But if we use three equal signs, JavaScript becomes stricter and it finally says no different. Still, it's confusing. Now let's say we create a variable. We call it name. And we set it to John. Later in the program, we make a few API calls, do some logic, and suddenly, name is now 27. Wait, how can a name be a number? That's because JavaScript used something called dynamic typing. It means you can change a variable's type anytime. So a name can become a number or a boolean or an object or even a function. Other languages like Java or C don't allow that. They are strongly typed languages, and that's why TypeScript was created. It brings strong typing to JavaScript. So when you say name is a string, TypeScript makes sure it stays that way. It also helps document your code. You can look at a file and know exactly what each variable is for, what kind of data it holds. Now, let's try this in Visual Studio Code. First, open your terminal. Let's install TypeScript globally. Type this, npm install global TypeScript and press enter. Once it's done, type npxtsc in it. That creates the configuration for your project. Now, what does npx do? 
looks for the TSC compiler in your project. If it doesn't find it, it checks the global version. That's what we just installed. Now, create a folder called SRC inside it. Make a file named test TS. TIS is the extension for TypeScript files. Let's write some code. Let name John name 27. TypeScript is already doing its job. If you move your mouse over the error, you'll see this message. Type number is not assignable to type string. That means you can't assign a number to a variable that should be a string. Great job, TypeScript. Now, delete the number and save the file. Let's run the compiler in the terminal. Type mpx tsc and press enter. You'll now see a new file appear. It's the same code, but converted into JavaScript. Ready to run anywhere. So, that's your first taste of TypeScript. In the next lesson, we'll continue learning together. Until then, take care and sleep well.